Game of Thrones, Season 1, Episode 10, Fire and Blood. Yo, thank you so much. We're done with Season 1. That went by, like, We're not literally. done yet. We're about to be done. Right. I don't like Reese's peanut butter tops. <laughs> 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 oh, we make cupcakes. Let's go. Can I pause a little bit? Dude, I just forgot that they did my boy Ned like that. Yo, comment below if you ever put this song as your ringtone. I've heard this on people's ringtones before. I would. I would do it. <sighs> season finale, man. Let's go. This one's going to be crazier than the last episode, probably, because this is season finale. Oh, Ugh, is that Ned's blood? blood. I hate y'all. The aftermath, straight to it. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at me. You remember me now, boy. That's a bright boy. He's not even a boy, That guy's bro. in the night watch. You'll be keeping your mouth shut. Oh, he said you'll remain a boy. Is that what you just said? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. She just passed out. Oh, my God, this dude. Is this is crazy. This family, this... Keep your mouth shut, boy. I'm not a boy! You're not a smart boy. Is that what you're trying to say? Do you want to live, boy? No. Oh, he's oh. cutting her hair. He's hiding her identity. Making okay, a Mulan moment. Dude, Sansa straight passed out. I know, Did you was, see that? That was insane. That was the most intense thing. Like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Is Bran about to find out? Or is this one have three eyes? This is that dream that he's always having. Oh yeah, because he's walking. Why does this man keep having this dream? I can't figure out why this is relevant. The show's like telling us something we're too right. dumb to know. Three eyed raven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down. Three eyed raven, symbolic. Three eyes. Mullet. <laughs> Party in front, business in back, whatever opposite. Father's not down there. Not for many years yet. Oh, her name is Osha. Mm -hmm. right. Which I thought that meant like, you know, see if bleach is bleach. You've left me on the wall. What are you scared of? I'm a cripple boy and I'm willing to go. Maybe that's because you're naive and you don't know what's out there. <laughs> my grandfather, Lord Rickard, was burned alive by the Mad King Aerys. Oh my god. That's Lyanna, my father's sister. King Robert was supposed to marry her, but Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped her. <laughs> that's Danny's brother. Robert to win her back. He killed Rhaegar, but she died anyway. That's where I saw father. You see? He's not here. So he knew that his dad passed without his. Wait, what? He knew because he saw his dad in the crypt. That beast is supposed to be chained in the. What are you talking about? He had that dream of the three-eyed raven because he he saw his dad in the crypt in his dream. So he knew without knowing that his dad just passed. He's in a crypt right now. I'm confused as hell about how you put that together, bro. He doesn't like chains. So he's having that dream because his dad died? I don't know. How many times have I told you he's in King's Landing? He was down here. I saw him. Saw him when? Last night, when I was sleeping. So he's having some type of premonition or some sort. And so was he, apparently. You both miss him. It's only natural he should be in your thoughts and dreams. But that doesn't mean that. Brian. Oh no. And that's tough for him. And his confirmation. Does she know? I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting though, right? Everyone's looking at her with sorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she knows, bro. Oh my gosh. That's a blow to the army too, and mm -hmm. the morale. But maybe it'll rally them up. Hopefully. Who's that gonna be, Rob? Rob. <laughs> Rob. You've ruined your sword. Come on, Rob. We need you, buddy. I'm gonna kill them all. That's dramatic, bro. Hey. your sisters. I know, that's why you gotta He's be gotta careful. He's got to keep his head on straight, right? We have to get the girls back. Yeah, you, you have to be careful what you do to Jamie because of that. And then we will kill them all. And the beast was every bit as fat <laughs> as Robert was himself. <laughs> oh my oh, god, is. how is she even, like, able to be there? I'll have your ugly head, murderous as the lion in my bed. <laughs> You hear I'm making little jabs at her. The lion ripped his balls off. <laughs> the boar did all the rest. You're like, um, about that song. <laughs> Sounds pretty sus. He loved it. <laughs> Very amusing. Isn't it a funny song? Sorry, your grace. I'll never sing it again. Tell me, which do you favor? Oh, he's being punished. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Grace, if you got to keep one, which would it be? Every man needs hands, your grace. Good. Tongue it is. I was. Oh no. Who better than you to carry out the sentence? I beg you. Yeah, he don't care at all. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so tired of him. I'm done for the day. I'll leave the rest of the matters to you, mother. He's done for the day. You look 
quite nice. Thank you, my lord. No! Your grace. I'm king now. Walk with me. I want to show you something. Oh my Crazy, God. bro. Do as you bid, child. That's what I'm saying. Somebody in this kingdom has got to just go mentally ill and just assassinate this king. I'll put a son in you. Mother says that shouldn't be long. No, please, no. This one's your father. Look at it and see what happens to traitors. Promise to be merciful. I was. Look at him. Please let me go home. I won't do any treason. I swear. You'll stay here. Bro, this show got a lot crazier. Mm -hmm. Like right now. Because of him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. <gasps> well, <laughs> how long do I have to look? As long as it pleases me. Do you want to see the rest? That's your scepter. There. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a present. After I raise my armies and kill your traitor brother, I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Oh, okay, Sansa. Oh, like the thoughts never even entered his mind. Sir Meryn. Dang. Just push him off the bridge. Oh, she might be thinking about jumping. Nothing about pushing him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, she could have ended everything right there. Will you obey now? Or do you need another lesson? I'll look for you in court. I know one thing's for damn sure. I'd have threw them off. Wow. So basically your life's about to suck. That's what I'm saying. Like psychologically, I would break. Like if he just sat there and pushed me like that, and I would then kill showed, him. I mean, not I'd only showed to. me my dad and my septa, like he's going to put my brothers up there. Like, yeah, that little boy would have been flying. They can do with me what they will after that. Yeah. You saw Jon Snow immediately like, <sighs> pledge fealty to King Renly and move south to join our forces with his. Renly is not the king. He's Robert's youngest brother. Renly can't be king before Stannis. Really is not right. Here is what I say to these two kings. Ooh. <laughs> That's what he says. Why should they rule over me and mine from some flowery seat in the south? Now you're thinking. What do they know of the war or the wolf's wood? Even their gods are wrong. Oh, are they going to declare like independence from the south? Maybe. Basically, that's what they should be doing, right? They're going to go to war anyways. Civil war. It was the dragons we bowed to. Forget and the throne. The dragons are dead. There sits the only king I mean to bend my knee to. Oh, okay. The king of the North. Okay. Two bees. I'm so glad he took it upon himself. Terms, they can keep their red castle and their iron chair too. The king in the North. Let's go. Dion. Now and always. Now and always. My sword is yours in victory and defeat. Let's go. This day Let's go, Dion. Yes, the king of the North. Okay. Heck yeah, I'm with that. I feel like I need to balance it. Let's go two bees. They'd bent the knee easily. They didn't have to get threatened or nothing. You saw that? Yeah. Oh, that drink. Joffrey has to take people's head and threaten them. I'm really dumb. I should have seen that chess piece comments. Okay, so if they're going to have a civil war, obviously independence I comes. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking they were going to try to take the throne. But what if they don't want the throne? Right. I think they think it's silly. Yeah, they worship the old gods. And they weren't born in the light of the seven. Is that what she said? Or you said or something like that? Something like that. If you're from the seven, you're like a southerner. Right. Oh, there he is. The sister poker. Oh my God. What is she going to do to him? Look lovely tonight, Lady Star. Widowhood becomes you. Why would you say that? Your bed must be lonely. Oh my God. He's is talking junk. Slip out of that gown and we'll see if I'm up to it. Oh. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you say that? I do like a violent woman. I will. We know. Tonight, sir. Pack your head in a box and send it to your sister. That'd be crazy. Over the year. That is what you want the world to believe, isn't it? That you don't fear death. But I don't, my lady. Why cry about it? Because you are going to the deepest of the seven hells if the gods are just. Where were the trees when his head was getting chopped off? If your gods are real, why is the world so full of injustice? Because of men like you. There are no men like me. Thank God. My son. Bran, how did he come to fall from that tower? I pushed him out the window. He just admitted that Yeah, because I was into my sister. What's up with that, G? I hoped the fall would kill him. Why? You should get some sleep. It's going to be a long war. See, he can't even bring himself to tell her what he did. Mm -hmm. So he knows he's wrong for it. He doesn't care about her opinion. How long is she going to spare him, though? I don't know. Until she finds out that answer, probably. So maybe that's why she didn't tell him. Was it this exciting last time, when you were young? Have we captured Rob Stark yet? What in the world? Get back into bed. Who's that? Isn't that the one that was giving the king wine? She's related to him, of course. <laughs> I have my son. Ew, bro. I can't with What her, is dude? this? Is it true about Stannis and Renly? Both Baratheon brothers have taken up against us. Jamie captured, his armies scattered. Perhaps we should sue for peace. <laughs> There's your peace. Joffrey saw to that when he decided to remove Ned Stark's head. You'll have an easier time drinking from that cup than you will bringing Rob Stark to the table now. Right. He's winning, in case you hadn't noticed. First order of business is ransoming Sir Jamie. We should march on him at once. First, we must return to cast. Oh, what's he about to say? Hurt my son! Oh. Get out, all of you. Not you.
I would have just kept going. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to eat. Mm -mm. He said, let me pick your brain, little mm -hmm. man. But you can't have this. Oh. Oh. Mozzie's trying to do him like that. Tyrion's a good dude. Leave him alone. You were right about Eddard Stark. If he were alive, we could have used him to broker a peace with Winterfell and River Runner. But now, madness and stupidity. I always thought you were a stunted fool. Perhaps I was wrong. Half wrong? <laughs> I'm new to strategy, but unless we want to be surrounded by three armies. Oh, she's ought to be like a strategist or something. So okay, I like that. He was saying he was smart. Writers, the rest of us will regroup at Harrenhal. You will go to King's Landing. And do what? Rule. <laughs> you will serve as Hand of the King in my stead. And if you get so much as a whiff of treason from any of the rest. Head spikes walls. Why not my uncle? Why me? You're my son. That's it. That's it. So that's what he, that air thing is real, is a real thing. One like, more thing. absolutely. You will not take that whore to court. He's got to give up his girlfriend. Yo, he said, don't get married again or I'm going to do that to you again. Remember what he did to his last wife? Mm -hmm. So he wants to keep him unwed so that way they can use him for strategy or something. Maybe. Just because or they maybe he just property. doesn't like him marrying people like that. Yeah, you're probably right. That's probably what it is. Yeah. It makes the family look bad. My son. Where is he? I want him. Oh, no. The boy did not live. Oh, no. And it was a boy. How did my son die? He never lived, my princess. What do the women say? They say the child was... Monstrous. Twisted. I pulled him up myself. He was scaled like a lizard with leather wings like the wings of a bat. She's lying, right? When I touched him, the skin fell from his bone. He was full of grave worms. I warned you that only death can pay for life. You knew the price. Where is Khal Drogo? Show me what I bought with my son's life. Wow, so that was a sacrifice. Oh, we live though. Time enough for that later. I want to see him now. The Kalasar is gone. The Dothraki follow only the strong. I'm sorry, my princess. Dang, they left. Well, where's he at? They just got him in a tent over there by himself. Whoa, where are they going? I don't know. Oh, he's just laying out there. Take me to why is he out here alone? He seems to like the warmth, princess. He Man, he's got the flies all over him, too. This is not life. When will he be as he was? When the sun rises in the west, sets in the east. Never. When the mountains blow in the wind. Man, she's talking that snake oil. She kind of like lied to her, right? I mean, no, she, she didn't tell her he was going to live a th like and thrive. Yeah, but shouldn't you offer that information, though? Leave us. She made it seem as if. I don't want you alone with this sorceress. I have nothing more to fear from this woman. You knew what I was buying, and you knew the price. It was wrong of them to burn my temple. This is not God's work. My child was innocent. Innocent? He would have been the stallion who mounts the world. Now he will burn no cities. Now his Halasar will trample no nations into dust. I spoke for you. I saved you. Saved me? Three of those riders had already raped me before you saved me, girl. I saw my God's house burn. In the streets, I saw piles of heads. The head of a baker who makes my bread. Tell me again exactly what it was that you saved. Your life. Why don't you take a look at your hal? Then you will see exactly what life is worth when all the rest has gone. Wow. So yeah, when you desert them up, they don't really care if they live or not. When you take everyone from them. That's crazy, man. Those people were just civilized in a sense, and they come through and tear everything up. They'll send out ravens. People will come after you. you Bro, he's leaving. The deserters. They're going to cut your head off too, dude. Better than you do. Oh. What are you going to do? I'm going to find my brother. He said better than you do. sword through King Joffrey's throat. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. He's going to just can't go. can't leave us now. We need you here. This show is turning up, dude. I won't let you go. Move. No. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Sam did his best. He, he literally, tried, man. He literally sat in front of him. Oh, his dog's going. Let's go. So John's about to go Come play on, freaking John. assassin over here. Let's go. He wants justice. Hand of the king. So it would seem. And your father said you couldn't take anyone with you to King's Landing? No, he said I couldn't take you with me to King's Landing. He was very specific on that point. He knew my name? I believe he used the word whore. <laughs> Are you ashamed of me? He has all seven kingdoms in his pocket. Everyone always has to do exactly what my father says. Why don't you come with me? The king needs a hand, and the hand... That's all she wanted? I know what a hand needs. I can't believe John left the wall, bro. That's crazy. One of the very first scenes we saw in this show was someone deserted the wall and got their head cut off. Oh, they're following him. Who? Nice duck. Ah! Oh! 
<laughs> I did we get him? Why is this boy chasing him? They're trying to save his life. He got clotheslined. <laughs> Where are your brothers now? Go back. Sam told us everything. We're sorry about your father. But it doesn't matter. You took the oath. You can't leave. I have to. You can't. I don't care. Hear about... my words and bear witness to my vow. Right. To hell with all of you. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. <laughs> it shall not end until my death. The, the shield, shield that guards, guards the realms of men. That sounds like a cult. <laughs> it does. It really does. For this night and all nights to come. I don't know. What do you do? Like, what would you do? It's hard to say because he obviously doesn't feel that way about his family because he left in the first place. So yeah, not... and because they really didn't really like, you know, Lady Stark didn't even like him. Right. And I get that has nothing to do with like Sansa and Arya and Bran and all them. But if he the, chose that life, you know? I was just saying in the beginning, if you love these people and if they're your family, like, why would you leave them? But I guess in society, that's just what the expectation is. Well, because he's a bastard. They said bastard just go to the wall. <laughs> He's doing a good job of seeming out of it. Mm -hmm. That acting is crazy. <laughs> For real. <laughs> He's just like. When the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, then you shall return to me, my sun and stars. Dang, what's she gonna do? She lost that all. I really don't know, man. Maybe she'll learn some of that magic. Well. Oh my god. He's gone too. I mean, he was a brutal warlord, so it's kind of hard to like feel bad for him, but. Oh, she's smothering him, bro. I thought, whew, John's crazy. I thought that the man just passed and she was just, you know. Covering him up. Covering but him nah, up, but nah, she's, she's smothering him. She's basically, like, I think she's, she's helping him. Yeah, she said, I need you to fight. Show me you got some life left. If not, I'm gonna strangle you, bro. Yeah, but he's like suffering bad. The thing you need to understand about King for the past 67 years, I've known more kings than any man alive, and I know how to serve them and keep on serving them. Aerys Targaryen. All the thousand, thousand maladies the gods visit on us. Madness is the worst. Seems like Joffrey has some of that. Mm -hmm. They say that if a man goes through life with his battle visor down, he, he can often be blind to the enemies at his side. I serve his son. King Joffrey. He's a capable young man. Stern. <laughs> the sternness and defense of the realm is no vice. But it's far too soon to know what manner of king he will be, but I sense <laughs> true greatness. Is he bored of that? True greatness. So what's the thing? W what thing? You said the thing you need to understand about kings. <laughs> <laughs> when you started. He's getting old. <laughs> Let me see you out, my dear. It's all right. No need. Yes, yes. <laughs> Till the next time. What the heck? <laughs> I like that vibe in there. The decor is nice. So Pycelle's low-key disgusting. <laughs> Everyone is though, like literally every single person. <laughs> when you imagine yourself up there, how do you look? <laughs> Does the crown fit? Do all the lords and ladies simper and bow, the ones who sneered at you for years? It's hard for them to simper and bow without heads. <laughs> Man with great ambition and no morals, I wouldn't bet against you. And what would you do, my friend, if you found yourself sitting up there? Who knows, bro? I must be one of the few men in this city who doesn't want to be king. You must be one of the few men in this city who isn't a man. Oh my god. You can do better. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can do better than that. I kind of like his when character. they frustrated you, did they take the pillow with the stones? Do you spend a lot of time wondering what's between my legs? I'm flattered, of course, to be pictured at all. <laughs> Have you ever heard two men have so much passive aggression? Uh, no. Do you lie awake at night fearing my gash? <laughs> Whispering in one king's ear and then the next. Yeah, he does that. I admire you. And I admire you, Lord Baelish. The major talent for befriending powerful men. And women. A useful talent, I'm sure you'd agree. Here we stand in mutual admiration and respect. <laughs> playing our roles. Serving a new king. Long may he reign. My king. My king. <laughs> I'd be scared to be around him because at any minute he could just cut your hand off because he's in a bad mood. I know. You have a long way to travel and in bad company. Oh, this chair is hurt. Son, men and boys all bound for the wall. This lot, half of them would turn you over to the king quick as spit for a pardon. So keep to yourself and when you're pissed, do it in the woods alone. Do stay over this lot, boy, and stay or I'll lock you in the back of the wagon with these three. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Watch yourself, midget. He's got a sword, this one. Oh, snap. What's he got a rat like you doing with a sword? He ain't no squire. Look at him. Looks like a girl. I bet he stole that sword. 
Oh my oh, god. No. Use me a sword like that. You know, it's all she'll do to you. She'll stick that sword right in you. You better give up by the sword. I've seen him kick a boy to death. I knocked him down and I kicked him in the balls and I kept kicking him until he was dead. I kicked him all to pieces. You better give me that sword! You want it? Give it to you. I already killed one fat boy. I bet you're a liar. But I'm not. I like killing fat boys. <laughs> Oh, you like picking on the little ones, do you? Here's the guy. Steel, it sings. You're gonna sing when I hit you. That's one of his bastard kids, right? Yeah, Robert. Rackets. Yeah. Where'd you steal it? It was a gift. Don't matter now. Where we're going, they don't care what you've done. Oh, they're going to the wall. Oh, That's what's you. up. Oh yeah, because the recruiter helped her out. Come on, you sorry sons of. A <laughs> it's a thousand leagues from here to the wall, and winter is coming. Oh, hopefully she gets to see John. Hopefully he went back. Hopefully she doesn't go to the wall. Hopefully she runs. I wouldn't want her to go there. I guess she's gonna go wherever that dude goes. Cause he just sort of befriended her, right? How many days in a row must a man be expected to start his day with ham? <laughs> Bring me some beer at least. Why is he nagging my boy up like this? Because he's being a bad steward. <laughs> Was your moonlight ride that tiring? Oh, he know about it. Looks are terrified. We beheaded everyone that ran away for the night. <laughs> the ghosts would guard the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that really like destroys the image of the wall for me. Yeah. I thought it was that important. Because Ned made, made it leave. intense. My friends brought me back. I didn't say it was your honor. <laughs> <laughs> they killed my father. Oh, and you're going to bring him back to life, are you? We've had enough of that sort of thing. Right. Yeah, they have. <laughs> A captured wildling swears that tribes are uniting in some secret stronghold. To what ends? The gods only know. Outside east were four blue-eyed corpses, unlike us. They were wise enough to burn them. All right, this is the first time we've thought about White Walkers. You think mm -hmm. your brother's war is more important than ours? You think it matters who sits on the Iron Throne? Because I want you and your wolf with us when we ride out beyond the wall tomorrow. Oh, He gets to go? Beyond the wall. I'm not He's about to become a ranger for real. And wait for the snows. Oh my gosh. They're so, going to go investigate if this right. is for real. Which means this show is about to evolve again. Mm -hmm. They're about to preemptively strike the White Walkers, huh? And we will find Benjamin Stark. So I'll only ask you once, Lord Snow. There we go. Are you a brother of the Night's Watch or a bastard boy who wants to play at war? Sounds like some propaganda. It sounds it like, like he's like... about to come into himself. He's not going to be worried about what's going on. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like, I'm having a hard time thinking that, like, what's going on in the South is of least amount of importance. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like everything's important. So pick a side, somebody. Oh, that's kind of nice. She's going to put her eggs with them. Drogo will have no use for dragon eggs in the nightlands. Sell them. They were not given to me to sell. So much honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd have sold them, bro. I'd have cashed out. <laughs> They mean a lot to her. It's her house. My queen. She ain't got a house now. About to be in that desert. Obey you to die for you if need be. I know what she means. But let him go, Khaleesi. You don't understand. Don't ask me to stand aside as you climb on that pyre. I won't watch you burn. What in the world? Is that what you fear? She really thinks she's a dragon, don't she? You will be my Kalisar. I see the faces of slaves. I free you. Take off your collars. Go if you wish. No one will stop you. But if you stay, it will be as brothers and sisters, as husbands and wives. They said no. <laughs> yeah, they're dipping. Sir Jorah, bind this woman to the pyre. You swore to obey me. Whoa, she's about to burn that lady. So she's kind of like her dad in that type of way, right? Because wasn't he trying to burn people? I guess. I am Daenerys Stormborn of House So maybe Targaryen. he thought since he was a dragon or something, people couldn't burn? I am the dragon's daughter, and I swear to you that those who would harm you will die screaming. You will not hear me scream. I will. But it's not your screams I want, only your life. Dang. Bro, I don't know, man. I can't blame that lady for what she did. Because they the told her lady. to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Whoa. What a scene. Or maybe she's trying to sacrifice that lady's life for, like, cows or the dragon eggs. <gasps> is she walking in there? She is screaming. Yeah, she is screaming 100%. What is she doing? Fire just doesn't touch her, so she's really like. Wait, she's not burning, is she? Her dress was. What'd they do? Fall asleep watching it? <laughs> like, like I would be on my toes about it. 
She's obviously alive. That'd be a really dumb way to kill her off. Oh, she might be. Oh. Uh, what is that? What was that? Bro, <gasps> she's got a dragon? It's so cute. She sacrificed that, looks like that lady. I know it did. Yeah, so she sacrificed that lady's life and gave life to the Megs. Oh my God, blood of my blood. Three, there's three. What? Crazy, bro. Now they're bowing to her, oh so she doesn't gosh. need a cow. She just needs some dragons. So people were saying they bowed to dragons, and they were seriously like meaning that job. Well, they, they haven't heard of dragons in thousands of years. And in their mind, she just brought them to life with some magic or something? I, I guess the sacrifice. That's I what I'm know. thinking. I think it has to be the blood sacrifice. That's why I said blood of my blood. Right. They're so cute, though. And those were ancient eggs. This that was crazy. Different this time. It's over? It's over. Okay. So that was a crazy finale, right? Yeah, man, that was crazy. This show went away, like, I don't know, man. This show, like, in a way, just went completely off track. So it became a show about war, realism, and politics. And it became a show about war, realism, politics, dragons, magic, spells. Uh, you know what I have I a callback? Know, you know what I have crazy. a callback to when I saw that? What? Okay, so immediately when I saw that, I thought of the first episode when they saw all those wolves and they were like, we haven't seen these in thousands of years. They haven't been heard of. And then there's dragons that also haven't been heard of for thousands of years. So it seems do to me like something is twisted in this universe. Do you think it's because it's been like summer and now that winter's coming, just like- Things are things going are, crazy. Well, yeah, maybe like- they, they need, maybe they need these things to, for that war. Kind of the direction I was going was maybe like, it seemed like this summer, which is what everyone's been living through is almost like a time of like, just like normality or like just things being normal. And then what? they're gonna reset with like an apocalypse and in then, a way. Yeah, like winter comes and everything gets like weird, dude. Like wars start, dragons get born, dire wolves show up. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, what Does else is gonna happen? Sense? I know. I don't know. This show, to be honest, I haven't really had time to digest this shit, guys, because this show, like I said, it went from a show strictly about politics to just, there's a lot of just like supernatural elements that got introduced mm -hmm. in this episode. It really changes the vibe of this show to me. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Right. I, I think I like it more in this way. It makes it more like mysterious in a way. Yeah, right? it makes me. OK, so when I when Ned got his head cut off, I was like, oh, anything can happen. Now, really, anything can happen. Like dragons can be born. I told you, all please don't let them talk. Please don't let them talk. I don't want them. If they talk, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, like on Dragon Tales? Yeah. If it's like Zach and Wheezy. If it's like you want me to burn them, Mom? Like, come on, Mom. <laughs> I know it's like Spyro up in here. Yeah, Spiro. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's Spyro. Whatever. Anyways. Spyro, Spiro. Potato, Sp potato. Yeah, man. Show went in a completely different direction. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it because I'm just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, because it's just such a realistic show in a sense. And so that's what the appeal is. But, you know, there's a lot of mystery and the storytelling can definitely evolve. I'm really excited to see how these dragons are going to come into play. I yeah, guess. me so too. That's so really cool. The episode was called Fire and Blood. And, like, it seems to me like to get the fire, she needed to sacrifice some blood. Absolutely. And that's what happened. Yeah, that was basically the Did last she thing know that, that? Did she know it was gonna happen? Okay, this is a callback to when I keep saying that like Danny confuses me. Yeah, right? me too. She just me too. Yeah. I don't really understand like what's exactly going on. Because there's a lot of internal right. like, how stuff. How much does she know? There's you know? an internal stuff going on and like when she knew her brother was gonna die, she knew it. Like she just she knew that she knew he was gonna die because she said a dragon like she knew he was gonna die and how does she know she just walks around in a way that like she just makes it seem like she's fulfilling her destiny where like i don't really get that feeling over in like westeros they just seem like they're being reactionary like you know the king just impulsively made a decision as to where she seems like she's like like it's just like her destiny or something i don't know i don't like really she's know she's making to... small moves for a bigger plan yeah i don't really know how to describe the feeling that i'm getting but it just seems like it seems like there's just more mystery over there basically. dude but if you those dragons grow up she can cross oh by flying on dragons yes well what about her army though they're gonna all oh hop on true dragons? you can't just do that right yeah you can't all hop on dragons i don't think but that that makes this so crazy because now at least like that option's out there somehow yeah at least she can go over there and scout or about. she can like scare people to do it i don't know well, I mean, that's a really good incentive to get people to like join her cause, right? Yeah, because because they said they bowed to the dragon. So like if you show people you got some dragons, I would support the cause. <laughs> so basically all hell is breaking loose on the war front. Um, Rob is the king without even wanting to be the king. Of yeah, the they north. declared him mm -hmm. the king in the north. You know, I was talking impulsively earlier, but you can't just go and cut up 
Jamie Lannister because they're still the Stark sisters that are stuck in King's Landing. So that's basically where we're at now, right? We really need to rescue those two sisters, liberate them from the mad Joffrey and... I don't think mad Joffrey and Cersei know that Jamie's taken. No, probably not. I don't think they know Ew, that and then she was sleeping with some other dude she's related to. She's gross, dude. Like, I thought it was because I was just sitting there, like, trying to, like, rationalize her explanation about her and Jamie. They were, like, born together. Yeah. They were in the... Okay, gross, whatever. Even, like, to me, that just made it weirder, I guess. But what like, do you think it is about her? Do you think she's trying to, like, keep her bloodline strong, or is she just that twisted? Because mm. to me, it seems like she's sleeping with... The, the vibe that I'm getting, dude, is she's just so narcissistic that someone that's not of her blood just isn't worthy of her body. Maybe. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, you have to be, like... A Lannister. Her, you no. have to be a Lannister to even sleep with her. And it's just like, you know, I respect the self-respect, but not to that extent. You know what I'm saying? That's a little... That's, that's a little, little much. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, You know, it's really hard. You know, actually, as a matter of fact, you go ahead and rationalize that. I don't like Exactly. Yeah, it's hard. So, <laughs> But she's definitely into it. And even the skinny little squire boy, she was just trying to pull that little that poor child in the bed so i don't know what was up with that she's creeping me out she's grossing me out cringing me out sansa should have thrown joffrey straight off that but i bridge. think that i think that was a good thing by the guard to kind of like step in and be like yo don't do that yeah. like just chill like because if, well, yeah, if she would have done that if she would have done that it could have been worse yeah, he would have been responsible for it ultimately because she allowed him to do it. Mm. So I don't know if he would have put my family's head on a spike. I definitely would have pushed him off the bridge 100%. And, you know, a lot of people go through a lot less traumatic things and they snap, especially mm. in our society. So remember Jon Snow, when he, right when he found out about his dad, they said, don't do anything stupid. And no, he someone, snapped. Yeah, he snapped. Yeah, he snapped. He and Sansa could have done that. She basically did. Well, I mean, she could have. Yeah. She could have, but she didn't. So I think that's something to say. And I also think it's something to say that Arya's Headed towards the wall. Yeah, Arya's <laughs> disguised as a little boy <laughs> headed towards the wall. So we're going to see how that goes. Yeah. That's kind of like a fun little storyline. Uh, it, it's really cool how the show does a good job of like everyone she comes across, she has to be suspicious of them. Yeah. It just really adds a, an element of like just the stakes are high, man. The stakes are high just to even navigate 500 yards across town. So. And Tyrion has to go serve his hand to the king in his dad's place while war is happening. So that's going to be something great for Tyrion, I'm sure, because he's going to have to deal with Joffrey and Cersei. Which I guess is the show's way of introducing us to the fact that Tyrion is going to become more of a character because he is a character, but his character has basically been to his be his character is just to be funny. I feel like it's like to it's be just, funny and it's to be related to the Lannisters, right? right? And, but, and also, like when he got knocked out, like before that fight, like I just felt like it's comic relief for us because it's such an right. intense moment, but he, you didn't even get to see the battle. Like cause yeah. <laughs> you were from Tyrion's point of view. Yeah, he so. just woke up. He even got stomped <laughs> out, woke up, didn't complain about being sore or nothing. <laughs> You're just like, did we win? So I'm really excited. So the next time that you guys are going to see us, man, we're obviously going to be on season two. And yes, we are watching the history and lore and we will. That's our next watch, actually. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is in the last episode and in this episode, I mean, dang, dude, honestly, in every episode, but particularly guys, if we're going to be 100% honest, the last four, the last four episodes, a lot happened. A lot, a lot mm -hmm. Season two is going to be the very beginning of something brand new. So you know how like a new season always starts and has mm -hmm. a whole new theme. Uh, and so I'm really excited about that, man. Every season of a TV show seems to have like its own flavor. So I'm excited to hop back in this. You got anything else you want to say? I mean, we could go for hours. No, but. I just I just think this was a great first like season. Amazing um, season. It was 100%. it was uh, it set up a lot, but it, like season two is going to be amazing, in my opinion. Right. I'm excited. Right. Absolutely. Um. Still a lot of mysteries before we get out of here. Like the biggest one, the biggest thing about the show that confused me though was when you put together that Bran was having those dreams. I don't know if you're right. Like, I, 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 I don't know sense. either. It I don't know sense. either. I just feel like maybe his dreams are telling him a lot of different stuff and maybe he should follow him. But it makes sense what you're saying because that little boy sort of, they, they was implying that they knew he was dead. Yeah. Basically. That was really weird. So the only reason that's really bugging my mind is because I, I start thinking, well, maybe Bran's having some premonitions, some dreams, but I'm sitting there thinking like the whole time we're watching the show, Bran's not having premonitions because this isn't a premonition type show. So when he was having the dreams of the Raven, I, I was just thinking like i don't really know what the show's going for maybe like they felt his soul hit the crypts i don't know like maybe that's a wild theory because both of the boys were down there that's that was the weird thing to me like both the boys were down there i guess the possibility is open now because ultimately over in essos we've been introduced to a lot of like sorcery and magic i guess mm -hmm. you could say so maybe it is possible that bran is seeing something or something i honestly guys i have no idea that's the most confusing part of the show i'm not going to speculate too much because i'm probably just going to be more cold than I am, you know, getting to the end of it. Right. But I'm having a lot of fun figuring out. This show's brilliant, obviously, as so mm -hmm. many people said, so I'm sure it'll explain. Yeah. So 
We'll get it's there. It's so much fun. I'm having a great time watching these. Absolutely. Why like, subscribe? Hit us up on Patreon. You guys know the script. It's been the October. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really is some of the best on YouTube. You guys know that. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.